Guess who I have with me on the couch this morning? It is Pamilemi Adegoke. If you're a fan of Twitter, you definitely know this one. He's had over seven years of experience in social media campaigns, brand management, PR, and digital strategies. He's shared his experience or his knowledge through talks talks and seminars with his foundation, the Kwamilerian Foundation. He has also coordinated efforts to give over 25,000 sanitary towels to young African females. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> okay, so what got my attention, first of all, on social media is the fact that the hashtag give a girl a, ch a pad campaign. Okay. That hashtag got me are you are you getting emotional right Actually, now yeah. oh my world <laughs> i'm fine you know i didn't expect that such a young person will be taking on this kind of charitable cause i mean what inspired it Bamilari? um so um number one thank you for having me on the show oh you're welcome yeah, i have three junior sisters oh so growing up um you know what it feels like when your your sisters take your money and when you ask, what are you using my money for? They're like, um, I want to buy a sanitary pad. Ah. So not everyone has a family as an uncle. Mm. So there are a lot of females out there that their parents can't even afford this. Thing. Imagine if they're living on 40,000 monthly allowance. Mm. You have to pay bills, you have to pay rent, yeah. you have to pay school fees. The last thing that will be on your mind is to buy a 400 general sanitary pad for a girl. Mm. And you have to do that every single month. Every month. How has the response been so far? It's been positive so far. Um, the love has been amazing. You know, everybody's saying how a guy sharing parts and the rest of it. So mm. it's been amazing. 25 years old. It's been good. Wow. It's been good. Okay, so let's talk about how you started. Because you just recently actually launched your foundation. Okay, yeah. Recently. Yeah. But you've been doing this for seven years. How did this, and you started, you know, in the rural communities. How did this start? Okay, so um, I had a discussion with my junior sister. Okay. So we were just in and talking about school and the rest of it. Okay. So she made mention of when her cosmate was stained in lecture room. Oh. And she had to cover her up uh, with a jacket. Jacket, oh. Not like the, the girl had money, but at that point in time, she, she didn't had have a sanitary towel. A sanitary towel. So, and she, she could not ask other girls. Hmm. Or like if, I, if it was a guy. Yeah. And I would say, um, guy, you have condom yeah. there. Yeah. I beg, Chapala give me condom. You get one girl, we are, we are one knack. You get, okay. but as girls, I think they find it out to ask. Talk flip, about those things. Talk about those things. Okay. So, even, even in rural areas, you see, at stigma. Mm. Yeah, like, no. I was um, at um, a community some few weeks ago, and the woman said she had to use to well, she had to wash it every time. The moment she was telling those things, I can imagine blood. You have to wash your own blood. Yeah. It's, it's actually not hygiene. Mm. And then you decided to do this. Do this. All right. Let's talk about you being a Twitter influencer. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, Pamilari is big time on Twitter. I mean, like, I, you're, you're one of those people that I look forward, you know, to seeing their tweets on social media. Thank you. Let's talk about how your work on Twitter has been able to positively impact people. Because being a Twitter influencer is a big deal. It is. It is. Let's talk about that. The impact, you know, being a Twitter influencer has made so far, you know, on in the lives of people. Um, you know what? What did they talk about celebrities? Mm. So we call ourselves tweet celebrities. <laughs> yeah, right. On, on that, <laughs> on on that some, community. Yeah. So it's amazing when you when you sneeze, and people accept it. Mm. You're like, mm. so <laughs> it's whatever you give them, they keep taking. So as it it works in different ways, it mm. has affected me. I'm very Positively, because number one, the, the foundation. Okay. People trust me. They okay. support. Mm -hmm. But one of the challenges is, you know, everybody wants to be savage on that mm. street. It is street. If you're not careful, exactly. You miss it. Yes. Yes. If you do a little mistake, they'll yeah, come for you. They'll come for you. Yeah. So, but it's been amazing. People accept you for who you are. You, mm. So far, you don't fake it. Yeah. But there's another day that says fake it till you make it. Yeah. So far, you can balance it and do your way. Twitter never forgets. 
it never forgets. Never forgets. And I also yeah. remember that someone actually came after you talking about your mom yeah. selling ogi. ogi. And then you actually, you know, got on it and then you, it became popular. popular. You became more popular. Yeah. And that, that was really, really by nice. Way, I was inspired by that. That's ogi in Nigeria right now. You're joking. I'm not joking. You're joking. I am not joking. Your mom's ogi is the most expensive. <laughs> expensive ogi. It's celebrities ogi. Is that what they call it now? Yeah. You're, what? <laughs> Oh, no. Are you joking? Oh, that's amazing. Thank you. That's amazing. I mean, the Twitter uh, uh, following these days is huge. I mean, it's a huge community. Let's talk about, you know, okay, being a Twitter influencer, um, artists, celebrities, yeah. you know, they, they, they depend on, or actually a lot of people actually depend on the they trust the things that you see, especially when it has to do with, you know, celebrities or artists. They, this, of course, you know where I'm going to. This yeah. brings me to the uh, Peruzzi <laughs> matter, you know, that got everybody talking. Yeah. So let's talk about it a little. Okay. What did happen? Okay, so, so you tell me what happened. Should, should, should we switch? <laughs> uh, let's switch. Anyone? <laughs> okay, so I'll be honest here. Yeah. yeah. So um, January 6th, um, during this award thing, somebody won over someone. My own opinion. Okay. Like, can these guys just stop ranting? And well, is a woman. We need to understand that these people have feelings too. They yeah. have emotions. Yeah. So that thing got to him in the wrong side. And he had, he had me in mind for six months. Wow. Something happened in January. He had me in mind for six months. Wow. So on spotting me, Okay, so he wanted to have, to have a conversation with me. Yeah. So um, he was looking at me, he was um, um, telling me his mind. Then the next thing I, I smiled. That is me on a normal day. But he thought I was being rude and oh. lost control. So you know when he said, I'm losing control? control. Well, he lost it on me. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, so I, the reason why I did not take it so far was like, it's like, okay, I think I went overboard. Okay. By number one, asking him to shut up. Okay. We might tweet. Mm. We don't know what anyone is facing. Yeah, true. So it's probably got him in the wrong way. Mm. There are a lot of I've been bashed a lot of times. Mm. After the video, I'm Nigerians Twitter, um, Ninja Totsu. Yeah. I don't take it to heart. We see these things as normal thing. Yeah. But at the same time, we should understand that these people have blood and, and water mm. running through their veins. You've also been called as a homosexual. A lot of times. So I don't, you I, know. I, but, how do you cope with the criticism? See, I mean, see, it's crazy. So uh, one thing I tend to understand about life is in Nigeria, we are all angry and frustrated. Mm. And I'm just looking for who to pour our anger on. on. So you know, when it comes, I'm like, okay, you people will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's just it. I, a lot of, I think a lot of upcoming influencers need, they, they, they have so much to learn from you because it's, 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 you can't be an influencer on social media and um, you have to really have a thick skin you have to because there's so much you have to take in yeah. so what inspiring what do you have for influencers upcoming influencers out there who you know inspired to be like you you know even with your charitable cause that you do so number one my favorite quote is um whatever people think about you is none of your business because mm. the moment you start taking people's opinion you lose it Imagine me trying to please you, me trying to please her, me trying to please someone else. I keep, I'll keep losing my Lose. happiness in, in the, in the, in, in, um, in the um, while trying to please you. Yeah. So why not just me focus on myself and my, and my life and just do whatever makes me happy? So when I, people tell me this thing about depression, like I'm learning, people are living fake life, blah, blah. See, if you cannot join them, just leave them alone. Mm. It won't stop anytime soon. Mm. We are all living it in, a, in one way or the other. True. It's, it's a disease we can't fight. fight. So if you cannot join them, leave it. All we right. are all in this fake life thing together. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. We're all in the fake life together. All of us. <laughs> all right. So quickly, talking about um, giving a girl a pad campaign, what's the future for, for that, you know, for that? Um, so the future for the pad, pad thing is um, we want to have pad banks in every secondary school in the, oh, in the country. Great. Whereby each girl is entitled to a number of parts every, every month, month for free. Wow. Wow. For free. Amazing.